Hi, beautiful people. It's already octopetalous October by a week. I know, again, here I am way behind the eight ball, <laughs> octo. Um, many of you know I have been very preoccupied with my Charlie. He has been very, very ill since the end of August. Um, so here I am, I'm going to share with you. He, he has something called feline infectious peritonitis, FIP. This is normally a very fatal disease. It is a virus. It also normally affects kittens. I have no idea where he got this. But after four vets, blood work, ultrasound, um, many pokes and prods, um, fluids, et cetera, this is the conclusion uh, we've come to. Now, I have been connected with a protocol. Basically, it's a drug that has been researched for years at Davis here in California. It is the only veterinary uh, university in California. And the success rates are about 85%. They either get better, or they die, or it's an up and down kind of a thing. Um, it is non-FDA approved. However, through a network, I have been able to find it. I began his protocol on Saturday, October 1st, and I am telling you guys in less than 24 hours, he really started changing for the better. And in those days since, he is eating on his own. He wants to eat where he totally wouldn't even eat at all. He wasn't even talking, meowing to me. And I realized that when he started again and he's jumping up on my desk and he's jumping up on my lap and he's really, really resurrected. And I am astounded. So the first three days were twice a day injections, and now it's a once a day injection. There's going to be lots of follow-up blood work about every four to six weeks. It is an 84 day in a row protocol. And it is very costly. And um, I am going to create now a fundraiser for Charlie. I will be offering some classes, which you can attend or not, uh, which means you can uh, attend and uh, contribute that way, or you can not attend and contribute. And um, I will send you the link in the recording. I'll try to think of some other things that I can offer. Um, and any amount that you'd like to help me out with, I would be so grateful. Uh, we'll be in this, I'm gonna guess close to over $3,000 at least. And um, I have honestly already spent about two prior to this. So it's, it's, a, it's daunting. And I have never ever done a fundraiser or asked for anything like this, which is really, awkward and uncomfortable, but I'm reaching out to my community. I'm going to be posting this. If you want to share it. If, um, if, you know, a money thing is uncomfortable for you, just send me a good wish. Send me love. Um, anything, anything we are readily accepting. And I already had a talk with Charlie and I told him that this is probably the last resort that we can do for him because, um, well, I just haven't hit the lottery yet. <laughs> so um, that's what's happening in my world this month. The 84th day will be December 23rd for a guy. And I'm hoping by then he can, he will have been able to move from the, uh, injections, which are, are kind of painful for him, I can tell, and extremely painful for me to give him. 
I will hope he has switched to the pill or oral form, but the oral form is actually more costly than the injections. So, and I have to get needles and syringes. It's looking like a little drug house over here. It's crazy. That's kind of what's going on. Yep. So I will hopefully be able to update you with even more positive news um, soon. If you keep up with me on Instagram or Facebook via story more often, I have usually posts almost every week, except when I was just really so bummed. I really, I just was given up, honestly. So from me and Charlie's hearts to yours, we so thank you. We thank you, thank you for the well wishes. Many of you have reached out to me and texted and I, I really, really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you. And remember the eight petals of your life, which ones are important for you and which ones are you paying more attention to and which ones are you not? Just check it out. All right. Big love. Bye for now.